Okay, I'm ready to start again. I've actually started on another device and the memory is full. I have a problem with these things because I tend to fill every camera, every phone right up and then <laughs> nothing. Then I have to run and run around like a chicken with a head chopped off trying to you know, preserve everything that's going on and not, um, you know, and be able to still continue with my, my recording. So we are back. I just have uh, some leftover um, pigment and I've got this canvas which I'm just applying some clear resin over and it's really thick, like it's, it's quite thick. So. That's as far as I'm going to go with it and not try to stretch it too much. So I've got my sassy red. I'm just going to go like this a little bit. Doing something different. Not sure what the design's going to be, but I definitely want to do something different. Okay, that's quite thick as well. I like it like that. I think I've mentioned that in the previous videos that I feel I have better control. That doesn't mean that I like working with uh, thicker consistency like resin itself. I just like it when it starts to set like this and then I feel that I've got better control in creating something. That's so pretty there, that red. I keep that a little bit there. And I might go around with this gold. This is a molten gold. So I'm just going to go over the top of it, like this. So you can see how slowly that's coming down. That's because um, it's quite thick. And if I pull the stick fast, like that, I will lose that line. So I'm going to go this way now and continue it. It's going to be interesting. Thinking about Kathy Lane and her amazing, amazing pieces of art, resin art. It's, um, it's just mind blowing, you know, how she creates these things. So I don't know, I was thinking about her subconsciously, I started doing something different. <laughs> Um, amazing how your mind works, isn't it? Just following this around. And that's looking great. Oh, look at that. I've got a little drop of gold in my um, soul nebula. Okay, so now I've got the electric blue, which is, it's quite thin. I've made it so it's, you can see that. It's very, very transparent, and almost you can't even see the metallic in it. It's that that um, transparent. So I might just go, just continue. Oh my God! Look how pretty that is. Because you can use this color as the the beach, the beach color, kind of like a the aqua clear water. It's very pretty. The metallic shimmer is coming through, but it's uh, quite subtle. So if you can see, is I'm, I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm letting some of it drip down. So I, I like that, you know, I like having the uneven parts where, which are not covered and parts that are covered like that. It just, I don't know, looks really cool that way. Now I've got some, actually going to go a bit more with this red maybe just to fill in these gaps like that and it wants to drip down so I'll let it and I've got this little drop here which I'm going to come on if, if it decides to to drop be great it a little bit 
could use a pipette oh that worked well and one here none of this was planned you know it's just there was some holes there so I just decided to fill them as you do Okay, that one doesn't want to, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And there's a little line here that I need to... Okay. So that is that. We're still rolling, which is great. I'm going to fill this little bit. Because that the, the red is opaque, and the gold is opaque, and this blue is transparent, as they merge with each other you can see <coughs> excuse me you can see some some beautiful blending happening it, it's pulling a little bit towards me and and that's why that's that's happening just filling in this area now a little bit playing doing something different you don't have to always get get a um a heat gun and blow things, you know, just you can play with it, be creative, create art, that's what it's all about. A little drop there, like that. That's actually really nice there. Now, I might go a bit more with this blue, might stand up for this one. Quite like that. This could even be a, a negative space. Don't know. This one I want to really fill in. Let it run down there. Very pretty blue. And thick. Adding some more of that blue there. Which is quite thick as you can see. See what if I if I hit that with um with some heat, that will just go it will just oh good one. That uh, I don't know what that was. You know, it will just flatten down, right down. So, but I like to play with it as is. I'm going to put a little drop of that blue in here if I can possibly do it. Yes. There. And might go around with the gold a bit more here because I like to just follow the same kind of pattern. It's disappeared because it's so heavy. Need more here, like that. All right, I've got some of this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery soul nebula, which I am going to follow the blue here. Just gives it that beautiful shimmer right there. I'm going to add a bit more of this red in here. Oh my goodness, look how thick that is. Love it. It's how I want it. Just bring it all the way up. If, if you can't do it, get a thinner kind of uh, instrument to work with. And I can pick that up and put some here and here. bring it down here it's quite thick so I can pull it easily and just uh, fill in those bits there and I might just pull that because it looks too um, I don't know it just looks like it just goes and then it stops right there I don't want that I want to create some Flow all the way to the end and wipe it, and that there's created some beautiful effects as well. 
And I'm going to pull that to creating that flow. Then I've got these areas here, which I can just go like that. This is the new Glitz and Glam. Just creates this gorgeous gem looking like characters on your on your piece. Sometimes it's it's like it's good to have an idea what you want to do. But sometimes I get amazed when I just allow myself to to just let my subconscious kind of take take over and not worry about the outcome put a little drop of gold in there possibly so I get it out that's a big drop in here I do that spinny thing because uh, I'm trying to not have a, a string, not pull a string with with the drop, you know, and, and uh, that kind of contains it all in there. Oh, put a little bit, a little one here, or big one, and then might even get a little bit of glue in there, like that, just to open it up. beautiful okay what I might do is I might mix this clear that I, and it's not a clear sorry it's a soul nebula it's a greenish kind of uh, shade of pigment I'm gonna mix some with this red and turn it into like a pinky gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery pink. And then I'm going to pour that. And where to pour it? I'm going to pour it right here. Down here. Creating a double line now. beautiful because you've got that green specks going through that red which makes it look really interesting and I might get some up here as well real abstract still haven't used the heat gun yet but I've got a lot of this red, so I want to use it up for something. Oh. And I might use it up here with the red. Okay. Got lots of gold left. Not a lot of blue left. I'm going to use some more of this blue in here. Fill it in. And definitely want to use a little bit more of that blue. Actually, I love that gold on top of that. Might just leave that there like so. Well, the blue is gone. And I will use my finger now to just blend it in a little bit so thick but still workable if you're impatient don't do this because uh, I love I don't mind getting sticky and I love playing with my fingers okay now I've got lots of this gold left which I can go like so and cover up these gaps here go again Oops, right 
to go up here with it too. Pretty much it of the gold. And then I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous um, soul nebula. So when you put it over the, the white, it just looks like a white shimmer but when you put it put it over um a darker color like a red or a black or purple it will it will give you a different like a greenish color so i'm just going to go over this gold with it and i've got a lot of space here that i need to cover so i'm just going to use it to cover so you're really using these glitz and glam for effects like here you're putting them one on top of the one inside of the other oh my goodness look how thick that is that is thick but i don't mind just having a little like an area just for for this shimmery stuff And yes, I know I got a smudge, but it's okay. Not too worried about the sides, but you can pull it down. It's so thick that it'll cover everything beautifully. And because I have so many gaps here that haven't been covered, I have to go around and cover them. But I will use a little bit of heat. See, so thick and a beautiful. And I've got all these goodies down here, which you may not be able to see, but there they are. Not so many here, but plenty now down there. So I can go around and pick them up with a stick or with a palette knife and just find areas that I want to cover. And because there's so many different colors, this is going to be very interesting. So here we go, look at that. See how thick that is? That looks pretty, just on its own like that. So what I might do is, I actually want to cover this area here. So I'm just gonna let it fall off my palette knife. So that just gave it a different effect again because it's it's got multiple colors in there. And now I'm just going to pull it over like so. Pull it down there. Now I'm going to pick up some more. Maybe some on this side. Nope, not much there. And maybe do the same over here because I've got some gaps. Oh, that's so beautiful. Maybe let's start, start over here, might as well. Start over at the beginning. Pull it a little bit, just waiting for it to loosen up. It's taking so long to, to fall because it's uh, really thick. So just going and patching up those areas that I've missed. There you go. So that there's no gaps. And here as well. Okay. This is actually really, really cool. All right, so here comes the fun part. Yeah. 
and do things like this. Once it's all set up, you'll be able to see all kinds of different effects going through there. And I love my lines, so I always go ahead and do these kinds of things. I quite like that, so I don't want to touch that. However, this I might go like this. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Alrighty. This one might go like this. Right. Like a little fish there. I can do the same. This looks like two eyes. And eyebrows. <laughs> and a grumpy mouth. Uh, might give him a bit of a smile. That actually looks like a fish as well. So many things you can do. Don't have to abide by the rules. There are no rules. You create your own rules. And that there creates beautiful effects. You can't do this with the resin that's already been set up because uh, it'll just move. This is not moving anymore. Unless I heat it up, then it'll move. And add some lines down here. All kinds of things you can do. That's what I love about this. This gold, I'm going to move it a bit. Could even be like, see this? This is just gorgeous. And as it sets, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself because I, I, I forget sometimes I've said something because I'm in my head um, or I'm in here. Um, it will still move. These lines are not going to be perfect like that. Or they might because it's quite thick now. This is really, really thick now. So it's creating something here. Maybe even pull some of that gold down there. Something different. This is creating art. Not just pouring and blowing. It's actually creating something. And sometimes you don't have time to do that, so I'm happy that I have time now. So, and it's a scorcher outside. I'm really enjoying myself here in a in the air conditioning. Oh yes, you're still on. Thank God for that. There was a little bit of pink there. I didn't want it there. This may look like not much from up there, but to me, it's an abstract work. And I absolutely love it. Another little fishy. Might use this one. I just want to fix the circle. I quite liked it when it was round. And then I went and changed that so you can fix that as well. And just create loveliness.
and this here is just something like completely different from down here which is also awesome I will leave it like that I might just put some lines through it I just want to pull that one in there, like that. So, yeah, looks like lots of little fishies in there. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one going that way. Or you can see something else in there. You may not see a fish, you may see something else. But I want to give a little eye in here. Big eye. If I can get it to, to drop, it will be very, very good. And now I have to twirl it. And you know how hard it is to twirl this when your gloves are so sticky. Here we go. Oh, I managed to do that. It's all right. Let's see if I can fix it. There's one eye. And so now I need to get a little bit of that gold. Ooh. Look at that, I got some. Pop it in there. Here we are. Do the twirl. This one's going easier. And there you have it. Got a little bit more gold left. Love this gold. Absolutely love it. So I might just add a tiny little bit just here. Finishes off that area there. That one there looks already great. Now, just imagine this on a bigger piece where you can see everything beautifully. And all the drips, the way I like it. Not everything is covered, just the way I like it. I'm real happy with that. Just going to give it a little bit of um, torch. So you would have seen that I absolutely didn't use any heat on there. I'm just going to use some now. I can get it working. Okay, so that is the only area where I wanted to use a bit of force. It's created all those little cells, many, many, many cells, and some flow down there. Everything else I wanted to leave. These lines are staying, which is great. So I'll bring you closer now so you can um, have a good look and uh, see for yourself. <laughs> 